Hi, welcome to a rather cold workshop. Thanks for stopping by. This chap is what I've been making over the last few months, a coin operated Zoltar, a fortune teller machine. So without further ado, let's stick some money inside him and make a wish. So how does my coin-operated Zoltar machine actually work? Well, I had to get a bit creative at times because everything you see here is from scrap, donations. It's all sort of cobbled together. And in order to get something working, to work out a solution on how to get everything correctly functioning, I have to get a bit creative. So let's go through it. We have the coin slot here, which is basically a little micro switch. I can sort of narrow the uh, slot a bit to make it uh, accept only certain coins. But generally, it's just at the minute a glorified donations box where anything will be accepted. I hope to get this, um, get a proper coin acceptor working inside it. I have coin acceptors running on other projects but this one I thought it'd be just nice just to uh, use this nice 1D plate that um, was was given to me was gifted to me kindly uh, not so long ago. Uh, this is a weird little mirror that we found hello Ooh. and now I'm going to struggle getting up again. There we go. The cabinet by the way is all made from old wardrobe parts that came out of uh, the house when we moved about six months ago and here is the main event my Zoltar so first off the crystal ball now the crystal ball is actually an Ikea lamp which is in the shape of a light bulb and as you can see it's cycling through different colors and I'm using a micro bit halo for that so it's a ring of LEDs and you can see this on one of my uh, first updates of the build and how it's programmed. There is some example code as well that you can use if you fancied doing this. And in its standby mode, it cycles through just a, an array of random colours. Uh, but it, it will start to change colour when you insert a coin and make your wish. So wishes that are granted are represented as a green crystal ball. Wishes that aren't granted are represented as red. So you either get a red or a green when you enter, uh, put some money in. And the face of Zoltar, there he is, is actually a 3D printed mask that I found on Thingiverse. I had to adjust it slightly, but um, it sort of does the job Looking back, I think it's just a little bit too small. It's only too small because the torso was kindly donated. Um, it's a dressmaker's torso for a child. And I don't think the head and the uh, torso are, 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 are in proportion to one another. So it looks a bit odd. So I might bulk his head out with um, a bit of beard and a bit of hair eventually. His eyes... As you saw uh, when uh, in operation, his eyes start opening and closing and they are behind there. I'd love to take it apart to show you um, is the, an old Furby. 
So an old Furby, um, it forms the basis of his eyes. They are Furby eyes and they are wired into the micro bit as well. So this whole cabinet, this whole cabinet works off micro bit. These little programmable boards that you can get that don't cost very much at all, but the potential for them, uh, what you can get out of them is huge, absolutely huge. And I'm trying to push the micro bit to its limit just to show people what can be achieved with those little fun boards. Uh, the hat is just cardboard and a bit of fur. I think that jewel there we found in the um, found in the gravel um, outside on our driveway. So um, I'll replace it pretty soon when I find some. I could really do with some costume jewelry. So that's my next uh, what I'm next going to look for costume jewelry. Now that I've found a pirate's outfit. Um, which I was looking for for ages and ages. And this one came up for 20p at a jumble sale. So uh, perfect, really. Uh, everything is decked out in uh, cloth that I've managed to scrounge. And really the only thing that I've spent money on is the spray paint for the inside and the outside. It's all spray paint, mainly because if I was to use a, a paint and brush, I'm terrible at it and it looks, um, it doesn't look even, it looks horrible when I use a brush. Uh, my next step is to start painting uh, the orange panels. I want them to look a bit more like, uh, want, I want to get used to, want to get practice um, using carnival fonts. So I'm going to start drawing and getting used to um, writing in the old carnival style fonts and it would be nice to have like you know zoltar going across the top or or something that would be that would be excellent up here it's all empty space behind here and that's where the speakers go when you when uh, zoltar is talking the actual micro bit and the wires are all in the back of him they all run down the back and you can see um, uh, a switch here which is bodged with a pencil and some hot glue um, so it goes on a cycle. You put your money in. So you put your money in. It's triggered by the micro switch. Um, it activates the Furby eyes and they go on a cycle blinking away for two cycles. It then activates this switch, which then interrupts the lighting cycle of the uh, crystal ball, changing it to either red or green. And then it pauses before going back into its standby mode again. Under here is empty space again. It's all sort of propped up on stilts. Um, and here it holds the, the battery pack. So it all works off one of those phone charger power packs, which is brilliant, which makes it fully portable. Well, I say fully portable. It weighs an absolute ton. So I've no idea where I'm going to, how I'm going to get it to places if I want it to. Um, but here, it'll be nice for it to dispense a fortune teller card so that's my next hurdle my next problem to solve is working out how to dispense cards from the front and i'm thinking of maybe using a thermal printer so we can just print out a bit like a receipt when we go to the checkout at a shop so we can print out um print out your fortune and just have it spit out the front but it would be nice to have it properly dispense Zoltar fortune telling cards. Um, so yes, so that's my next problem that I'm about to solve or look into. Um, and no doubt it will lead me down many, many rabbit holes. But anyway, that is where the Zoltar cabinet is currently at. And I think it looks really, really nice sat in the corner here. And um, Thinking about it, I should have put wheels on the bottom so I can wheel it around to, to, to a better position. But at the minute, he's just sat in the corner looking freakishly scary. But um, yeah, there you go. That's the update to the Zoltar coin-operated fortune-telling cabinet. Okay, thanks for stopping by. See you later.